influencers are the people who are eating Big Macs in their Teslas. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's also good to be transparent, so to, to show your vulnerable side as well. People will appreciate that as well. Like, oh, oh, I was thinking I was the only one having this issue. It's, it's oh, good yeah. that you're also going through. They can also relate to you. Oh, look at her. She's a pretty girl and it doesn't even matter how she plays or what she does or what she says. She's going to be successful. People will make labels, judge, as you say, as well. They will always find something. Yeah, if not the looks, then something else. Then maybe, you know, assume that you are from a rich family or I don't know what. Uh -huh. Like, there is so many things they can try to wrap around. I don't want to take the product I know nothing about and then just talk about it just for getting paid. You know, it's not that. That is honest. And I would like to show the things that I really truly believe that are good. Welcome to Oh Sheet. My guest today is Iva Kosic, who's one of the fastest growing classical guitarists on social media these days. She creates music videos and shares lots of inspiring and entertaining content on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Today we're talking about the value of content, getting started with content creating and partnerships, and the challenges of being a woman in the creator economy. This episode was sponsored by Dadario, but more on them later. Eva. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Welcome here. Thank you. Thank you, Thank for, you the invite. for joining me today. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's so lovely to meet you finally in person after knowing you for so long yes. through internet. It's yes. crazy. Yeah, it's great. Have you ever been to a podcast? No. This is definitely my first podcast. No. Sweet. I have a lot of experience. I have been to one. Oh, really? Yes. How was it? It was great. Uh -huh. I was the host. It happened yesterday. <laughs> that was my first podcast. Mm, <laughs> it was okay. exactly here. So ah, nice. I made all the mistakes possible. <laughs> so today is going to be awesome. Trust me. Nice. It's going to be perfect. Nice. Yeah, you're basically a pro now. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. <laughs> I perfect. feel the same way. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Today mm. I wanted to explore a little bit social media mm -hmm. with you because, um, as we said, we became friends through social media. It has yes. such a big power on, on uh, people's lives nowadays. And I also think that you are one of the fastest growing person I follow on social media and it's crazy. So I wanted to discover a little bit that. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Starting with the thing. Um, I'm not sure where you started out. Was it Instagram, right? It, it was Instagram. I think yes. Yeah. Like I posted uh, like first video of me playing. Not first video. I did have Instagram before, but like after that I kind of started posting more frequently frequently mm -hmm. so yeah i would say um instagram was the first yes when was this like a year ago yeah I, well, more than a year so i think like i'm counting from january last year last year huh yeah but it's actually it was like the final week of december like a, i think a couple of days before christmas like a year and 10 months uh -huh. 11 months something like that yeah that's crazy that's crazy how little time you yes. need to turn your life around a little bit because I bet it turned your life around. Yeah, it did. For me, social media was a big game changer in so many ways. Mm. And I see a lot of positivity in it. I see a lot of uh, harmful things in it. Mm -hmm. So you have to use it very intentionally, very intentionally. And I was thinking about what was the first kick for you to start out because for me it was during the pandemic, I was really, really alone and I had, I felt so useless. My days had basically no meaning and I was mm. so purposeless, you have no idea. But I think you started a little bit later, like mm -hmm. a year after we were, I, I don't think, know, we had yeah. a pandemic. So like the end of 2021. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. what was the kick? Um, yeah, well, I was planning this like really ahead and at the same time it was spontaneous it was really like both things okay. at the same time so, <laughs> can you so, break it down for me yeah, a little sure, bit sure. so it's like i was planning to start i mean like i was thinking on posting my first video for like two months before i had the courage to do it mm -hmm. um but it, i was not expecting nothing from it i mean it was not like a planned business thing that i'm gonna start now it was just uh, yeah it took me a little time to gather the courage but uh, yeah, I was thinking like that it would be nice to share my playing. Like I was also affected a lot by this um, sad and closed environment we had because of mm -hmm. the pandemic, you know? So yeah, of like course. Um, I was really wanting to bring my, my music, my, my just favorite pieces that I had in that moment 
and to record them and like um, document them and then publish as well. So. Oh, document. Okay, that's mm. a nice way. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. But also I like how you said you wanted to connect to people at that time. Because I think, I think that was the biggest reason for me mm -hmm. as well to start. It's just, it was, a, those are lonely times yes, and, yes. and um, connecting through social media was, the, was one of the most accessible opportunities for most yes. of us. So basically you're most active on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. And you're also expanding to YouTube and TikTok and Patreon and Twitch. You're star uh, streaming yes, on Twitch. As well, yes. <laughs> it's great. And I was wondering, um, where do you see the value of, of these platforms. So I don't know, what, what value do you think Instagram has or um, why YouTube is important? You know, the different, because mm -hmm. are, they are so, so, so different. Yes. Even when we call them social media, we just put them into one basket. But I feel like there's such a big difference in Twitch, in uh, between Twitch and YouTube and mm -hmm. Instagram and all. So how do you approach this uh, emotionally, mentally? Um, yes, well, every platform is really unique, has mm -hmm. like kind of um, different style, different um, approach, you should like approach it uh, in a different way. Um, but yeah, I, I like the fact that they are different, it's actually the point, mm -hmm. the, the whole point is that. So I can like express different things and bring different kind of value on each platform. So um, yeah, like for example, TikTok is more relaxed, it's more like um, short format that is also like meant to make you laugh or make you... It's very casual. It's right? casual, yes, yes. And like you can really be yourself there. I enjoy it a lot and uh, there is this kind of trends and these, these things you can you can follow mm -hmm. as well. And I try, I try as much as I can to like connect it with the guitar, like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever is happening uh, instead of like a basic topic I put it in the classical music or a classical guitar topic, something like that. It's not always easy to do that, but um, yeah. Uh, can you explain this that. a bit better? So like uh -huh. instead of... Um... So instead of a trend of, um, you know, like relationship thing, for example, uh -huh. like somebody says like, um, I don't know, like something boyfriend-girlfriend thing, you know, some, some kind of a relationship oh, like, okay. like that. And instead okay. of that, I would like a guitar and uh, I don't know, classical guitar. Oh, okay, and, all right. So you know, you're trying to translate yes, to translate into that into yes. classical guitar. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so okay, like I get to it. kind of transform into our niche. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's yeah. not always easy, not, not always possible. But I uh, bet it's yeah. it's tough. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's interesting and people find it unique. They find it funny and people they understand especially. And also, like, it's really good to reach new people that don't know nothing about classical guitar or so far were never interested in, in it and like this this TikTok can be like an introduction to that world. They can like kind of enter uh -huh, there. Like hook people in? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, maybe they are, they are, they get interested, they get inspired to start the instrument and yeah, YouTube is, yeah, it's a longer form content and it's, yeah, it's bringing like value, knowledge, so many things you can learn on, on YouTube. So it's it's mm -hmm. something that um, I will explore a little more in the future when I have more time for creating content there. Yeah, of course. YouTube is a huge investment in your time, yes. emotionally, mentally, physically, money-wise. It's it's a huge investment, I yes. believe. I really have to plan YouTube ahead. Yes. If I if I want to create value and if I want to bring good content to people, it it requires so much more preparation for, from me than doing Instagram, for example, yes. or doing Twitch. Okay, I, I feel like nowadays, I feel that I put very little effort into Twitch mm. and I feel really bad about <laughs> it because personally, Twitch is my favorite platform. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where I feel home. That's where are my, my core community is. Mm -hmm. And when people show up in the chat, I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like it's a... I don't know. It's like a the friend. regulars, you know, it's like a friend. Yes. It's like a friend is showing up, and there are people over there who show up regularly mm. for the past two and a half years, yeah. nearly three, and it's like a, so much, a, such a different level of connection. But back to you, uh, where do you see Twitch in your life? How do you feel about Twitch and streaming, like live streaming? How mm -hmm. I don't know. How do you approach live streaming? Yeah, well. I don't know, I felt really comfortable from the beginning. It was maybe a little weird, like the first couple of times mm -hmm. I went live there, but... Good for you. Yeah. I felt awkward for really? weeks and months. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I kind of felt okay <laughs> really soon. <laughs> 
that was comfortable and um, yes and I was surprised that people are were actually interested to uh-huh. see me practice like I was thinking nobody wants to see that yeah <laughs> you know so uh, but no it's like um, really really feels amazing to as you say like feel you feel like home I agree yeah. with that uh-huh. uh, 100% and it's uh, it's, it's like you invite people to your yes. living room and you're hanging yes. out yes yes it's like we discuss many different topics as well when I take a break and everything and uh, so like the, the uh, you show yourself truly how you are they they really get to know you like mm. you cannot you cannot kind of like as you know social media has this these parts of um, like deceiving or, or like pretending like everything is perfect or something like that but it's like like nobody can can come live and be like two three hours on another oh, personality yeah. that is not like I mean if they do like they deserve Oscar or something I don't know yeah but, <laughs> that's true <laughs> it's like yeah but it's, it's it's like you really yourself your reactions the way you treat people and everything like so it's like uh, I think really really uh, good and um, and also like as you say like brings um, stronger like makes uh, stronger community um, mm-hmm. members and it's and, and they feel like friends I, I completely agree yeah yes. yeah it, it's true what you said you can't pretend that you're someone else because no. you show up I don't know if you stream 10 hours a week or 12 hours a week for years yes. you can't pretend to be someone else yeah I agree that's yeah. crazy. I also expanded to um, multiple social media platforms. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I started on Reddit and I, st- and I started streaming on Twitch mm-hmm. and I'm making this YouTube stuff. And even though I could stream on YouTube, I'm not streaming on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You also could stream on YouTube or mm-hmm. on TikTok or Instagram, but mm-hmm. you choose yeah. Twitch. And it feels almost like I'm standing on too many legs on social media. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm diversifying my attention into too many directions. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel that? Yes. Uh, well, yeah. I try to really focus like on maybe two platforms, like mm-hmm. and others are not Which ones? neglected. Uh, Instagram and uh, now Patreon more Patreon. than than yeah yeah than than anything else. Um, so um, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of, but still at the same time I, I am active on others so uh, but I don't make a pressure uh, on myself that I need to be like give my 100% to all the platforms because it's not it's not good and it's not possible and we need to practice as well it's it's tricky wait you mean what practice but like instrument usually (laughs) that's one yeah that one like yeah (laughs) I don't even recognize that guitar anymore is that a guitar yeah it's a guitar Mm, it's a beautiful cool. instrument. <laughs> ah, I will check it out. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> it's funny that mm. you mentioned Patreon, that you're focusing on Patreon, because, okay, and I'm telling this, sorry, I, I, I apologize to all my patrons, but I never really thought about Patreon as a social media platform where I create content. So I do have these rituals over there. I, I write a weekly newsletter kind mm. of thing, and I share behind the scenes and everything. But I never thought about it as like, I don't know, as like a social media I focus on. And that's mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. What, but when you said you focus on it, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, well, I started now um, to plan, like recently I started planning like um, content there oh, as well. Oh, like yeah, content yeah, yeah. calendar and yes, all. Yes, like, but like this is really fresh. Fresh, fresh thing like literally okay. from this month I think I started that okay. so I have a lot of plans for this month in um, uh, on the on the patreon uh, so yeah can you give us a little sneak peek yes I can, I can <laughs> so uh, yeah I will be making tutorials because that's something I don't do like I never yeah. m- made like a big tutorial I, di- I did on TikTok a couple of times but they are just really short and Mm-hmm. they cannot explain completely what's going on so they're a little like confusing for for people that are beginners for example Absolutely. so yeah yeah so like i would make her make a longer form uh, content there and try to post like um, two times a month or or depending on, on the on the need of my of my um, patreons but um they they um a couple of them like uh, brought that initiative and uh, i was really thinking that that's a really good thing. Like I would be happy to bring them that that value back because of their amazing support. And uh, also, um, I will be like posting videos of me playing pieces that I am preparing for my final exam. 
So I think. All right. Good yeah, luck with that. Thank you. So it's like uh, something that I will. Uh, that will keep me uh, keep the pressure or, or put, in, put the pressure on me but also like um, I can hear how it sounds and also like it's not only for me so I'm publishing there so it's gonna like make me um, uh, nervous more nervous and like gonna prepare me for that yeah. exam I think it's, it's a good um, it's coming back again to the documentation thing that you said like how yes. it, it helps you it can yes. actually help if you document and if you pressure yourself to to record your progress, I think that helps. That yes. can help absolutely. Sure. I've seen a lot of people doing that, like these 100 day practice challenge mm, and stuff yes. like that. I think Hilary Han uh, started it. Yes, I think. I'm, I think. I'm not sure. And mm. those seem very, very useful. So Instagram is your main platform then. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of followers and a lot of followers means that you have an influence on them and influence means that you have a responsibility. So it has a lot of layers and it, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's tough. I struggle with this too yes. <laughs> and I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love it and hate it, you know, mm. I love it and hate it because I feel like, oh my God, I can show a lot of things and I can bring a lot of value into people's life. Yeah. But then, I also stress on not, you know, not doing things wrong. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, so it how is. do you approach it? Yes. Well, I try to like really connect with them as well. Like I try to okay. read as much as messages as I can and answer them as well. Um, and uh, comments as well, like especially the the, the positive ones or, or the ones that are like requesting a certain piece or something like that. And uh, I enjoy like uh, if I if I manage to to make it possible, I am happy that to to bring somebody the request they they had oh, okay. or, or yes. Um, so it's about community building in the first place. Yes, yes, it's mm -hmm. based on that, and it's also it's meant to inspire and meant to also share my journey. So it's like multiple things happening mm -hmm. <laughs> at the same time. But uh, the thing that like kind of when this happened, like at the, the beginning, I uh, the first thing that like was really that really amazed me or like shocked me was that like how many people uh, were like like so happy that i'm posting something like they were like really um appreciating the fact that i'm mm -hmm. making time to make the content that i'm playing the pieces or something they want or or just like generally that i'm active there and i'm sharing my my playing they were so happy and they were so inspired i got so many messages of people saying like uh, uh -huh. because of you i started playing the guitar or like i resumed oh. i like stopped years ago but now i want to play again after seeing this video so like that's something that was really like they really like struck me how to say and uh, yeah, of like course. yeah and i was like okay i will not stop this <laughs> it's like when you realize for the first time that you put something out there and it has an effect yes. on people out there and what you do has an influence and uh, and it makes you realize that oh my god i have some kind of responsibility i have to i have to do my best yes. and i have to bring my best my at least i have to try to bring my best because of course n none of us can do 100 percent all the time mm -hmm. but the most important part is the intention that you're yeah. trying to bring your best into this community and that's great that's wonderful does this mean that instagram is your favorite platform <laughs> <laughs> it is it is like it, i mean it's it's the place where everything started so i am really having an emotional connection okay. as well to yes. it yes but uh, I enjoy TikTok as well a mm -hmm. lot. Like it's a, it's a platform where um, you can be yourself really. You can also be like a, a little more casual as well. Yeah. And um, the thing I like there is that you can talk like a little more. Like for example, it's, it's similar at the end of the day because like on Instagram I can also talk on the stories. Mm -hmm. It's not the content that would probably work well on the reels as, as, um, as like a po post. Like but performance wise, yeah, right? Yeah, performance wise and everything. And, um, and it's also like, you know, people enjoy to see, they just see the message and that's it. Like that goes away. So mm -hmm. it's not like on the profile all the time. So, um, but on TikTok, like it's it's the um, it's you can just make a TikTok like uh, also uh, uh, describing some topic or like um, uh, answering some some questions and something like that. So it's more um, uh, engaging in that in that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like I, I like them all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. For me, yes. uh, this is the exact same. 
but for me it's Twitch, mm. Twitch and YouTube. So I think I put the most effort into, into YouTube mm. and I, I invest the most into YouTube and I want to, to put my A game mm -hmm. into YouTube. But on Twitch, I just feel home. I just feel very yes. safe and I feel way more comfortable than on any other platforms because mm -hmm. it's just, I sit down there, I go live, I stay there for four hours, <laughs> I talk shit, I talk whatever, I, I, I talk about whatever I want to. Yeah. I don't know, you're just hanging out with people and you just connect with them and that's yes. the best feeling ever. Mm -hmm. So it's funny how, yeah, there's a platform I focus on the most and there's another platform which makes me feel um, homey. <laughs> yes, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with uh, uh, Twitch. It's just that um, it's not the platform you create the content for. It's just you be yourself there, you practice. Mm -hmm. you, you kind of, um, you don't have to prepare anything in advance, like, uh, except it's like when it's a concert or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's more spontaneous. So yeah. yeah, of course. Okay, so you share a lot of guitar playing content. Mm -hmm. You also share uh, entertaining con content mm -hmm. and a little bit of your content is educational. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering how you feel about the value in entertaining versus educating content. Because it's something mm -hmm. that I find really, really hard to justify. And every single time I put a piece of content out there, I always ask if it's valuable enough to rob people's time. Because time is our most valuable currency. Mm -hmm. And if I put something out there and that doesn't bring value, I feel like a bad person. I feel like I'm robbing their time. And it's just so hard for me to justify uh, entertaining content. And how, how do you feel about it? What's the value of entertaining content for you? Uh, I think you can also compromise a little bit, like um, combine both things into one. Uh, so like it, it's funny, but at the same time you learn something. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yes, I think like it's entertainment is, uh, entertainment, uh, is also really good because you also make people laugh or you make somebody's day better as well like so it's it's not necessarily rubbing the time if they are if they got something from it yeah so like I, the thing I heard before is like people either want to get a value get entertained yeah or get um, knowledge yeah value or knowledge yeah so mm -hmm. it's like there is there is more things we can bring yeah so I, I don't think entertainment should be should be a bad thing necessarily like i think it's still uh, it can still bring um, yeah make people's uh, make people's day better so like i get that comments a lot like oh this made my day oh you know really yeah this made my uh -huh. day so, okay i get it also in the in the videos i play but at the same time in, in the in the funny ones or in the silly ones and it's also good to be transparent so to to show your vulnerable side as well uh -huh. um and uh, people will appreciate that as well like they're like oh, oh I was thinking I was the only one having this issue it's, it's good oh, yeah. that you're also going through like they can also relate to you so it's it's also one of the things uh, really really important but yeah I like the, the combination between both like educational and also uh, entertain entertainment is, is uh, something that I enjoy yeah. mm -hmm. I think I think also brings some kind of value yeah? maybe not always the knowledge but there is so many times that you don't feel good or you want to um, you don't know, entertain yourself or just like see something and then make, maybe then make somebody's day. That's mm -hmm. already a win, I think. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's simple. It is, yeah. When, when you said relatable, uh -huh. um, what I see online now is that we are so um, thirsty mm. for relatable content. It makes us feel a bit better, mm -hmm. you know, it, it feels like it justifies uh, our weaknesses mm -hmm. and our, I don't know, lack of ability in something, lack of skills in something. So we are really uh, starving for uh, relatable content. Yes. And what's really funny how, so people want to follow someone at the same time, mm -hmm. who's like an icon, someone who they can look up to, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, Beyonce, mm -hmm. Adele, someone who's like really like a strong personality, someone who we can really look up to and someone who we can think of as, a, as an icon. On the other hand, we are dying for people who are just simple and relatable. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny, right? Yes. I never really, really thought about this contrast so far. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the things that 
makes influencers, uh, let's say, uh, unique, you know, so because they what are, it, yeah, that makes them unique because they are like, um, yeah, they, are, they have things that you admire or the things that you, you look upon uh, on or you strive to be, but at the same time, they're not like celebrities that you don't mm -hmm. know nothing about their life except what media pushes you to, to know or something like that. Uh, so it's like it's more uh, personal, like ma uh -huh. makes makes even more con uh, connection with the audience because uh, they show behind the scenes as well, and they are like more. They make like same kind of relationship with like you would have with a friend. So it's uh -huh. like you feel feel more connected. Yeah. yeah, it's like you know influencers are the people who are eating Big Macs in their Teslas, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned this influencer thing because I find it an arising problem that there's, I don't know, there's such a fine line between artists and influencers because we are somewhat expected to be influencers, but the word in influencer is so overused. <laughs> it's losing its meaning. But I also know that you're doing partnerships with brands and, uh, and I know how hard it is from experience to be on a genuine connection with brands mm -hmm. and with, with uh, your community and to bring those things under just one roof. So can you share just a little bit about uh, your partnership experiences? Well, yeah, so far, like, I always try to really honestly review the, the product or the, depending on, on the, the company that is um, reaching out to me. Um, and uh, to see if that will would really bring the value to my community. So like mm -hmm. if there will be really something they are interested in um, and um, if that kind of aligns with what I'm presenting and what I'm knowing about, like I don't want to, you know, take the product I know nothing about and then just talk about it f just for getting paid. You know, it's not, oh, yeah. it's not something that is, um, that, that is honest and I would like to um, always be honest and like to to you know show the things that I really truly believe that are good yeah and so mm -hmm. so that will that I will really happily um, recommend somebody else to, to use yeah. it or, or yeah I don't know if you have ever had this but for me it's usually for me if, if I get a product first I ask uh, them to send me the product to try and I will get back to them in a couple of weeks or something but I need some time to to get used to that thing mm -hmm. and it's it's so awkward <laughs> I feel awkward about it when I when I don't like the product but they already sent it to me yeah but there's no way to avoid that I mean yes I just I need to touch it and I need to do something with it in order to know if I like it or not. Yeah. And it's so embarrassing. Have you ever had something like that? Uh, yes, yes, I had. And uh, How did it go? <laughs> it went actually great because okay. it was more options. So I could choose. Oh, I could choose the one, good. the ones I, I would uh, present or I would uh, use. So uh, yeah, that that was that was a nice uh, nice thing. Like it was um, That's good. Yeah, like and also you can always uh, make a compromise. You can always tell your honest op uh, opinion or just like... Um, Thank you, yes. I hate it. <laughs> you cannot say it like that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's sometimes hard to hard to find the, like the middle point, but it's at the same time really important, I think. Like mm -hmm. we, as you say, we have a responsibility. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, actually, I'm kind of lucky with the Dario in this sense, because uh, it's... It's very easy. It's one of my easiest partnerships. I mean, obviously we're here at the Dario office, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and uh, I also know you as a Dario artist. I, I think you became a Dario artist right after we started to talk to each other yes. or some, somewhere around that time. I wanted to ask you a little bit about how you came across with them or how this uh, partnership started with them mm -hmm. for you. Uh, well, I've been using the Dario strings like my whole life. <laughs> okay. As long as I can remember when I was a kid, I always used... Carbon um, or nylon? Uh, nylon at first. Now I switched to carbon. Sweet. I have a new guitar, so it's a little Sweet. different. Yeah, but still, um, always, always hard tension. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is always the set I was using. So um, yes, I was uh, lucky to meet them in person. Actually, the the team. Um, Very and, good. Uh, yes, so we kind of had a chat and kind of like uh, discuss some ideas and uh, yeah, then it all happened. Uh, really, um, I'm really honored to be part of this company because it's um, it's just um, really. 
important to 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 bring to bring uh, like a quality things to, to like to kind of um, make more awareness about mm -hmm. uh, about the great products they they are having not only strings like so many gadgets and, and yeah the they are that... they have everything <laughs> yes they have everything. <laughs> they make everything <laughs> so so it's it's great and also like um, like I mostly have for sure classical guitarists in my community but there is also people playing electric guitar acoustic guitar so like uh, oh right yes. okay uh -huh. so that makes yeah sense. it's like company that has everything for everyone so uh -huh. i'm really happy that that's the case yeah so um yeah i'm really yeah, happy yeah. to you know one of my problem with social media and one thing i find really hard on it is to just be your genuine self because you know no matter what you do people are going to judge you right for example i don't know if you have ever had an experience with it but i constantly get comments on my look and for example, on how I can thank my success to my look that, oh, look at her, she's a pretty girl and it doesn't even matter how she plays or what she does or what she says, she's going to be successful and uh, people are trying to take credit away from me. Mm -hmm. Do you experience this like at all? Mm, yeah. I bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's yeah it's like the first thing we have to be aware of is like when we are doing something public like like this mm -hmm. uh, for example is it's just um, nature of it yeah it's you're gonna draw a lot of attention like um, people will have opinion about mm -hmm. you if you are being your authentic self if you are like kind of being free and really not like worry about other other things mm -hmm. uh, uh, what other people think of you um and then yes people will have opinions about you people will make labels make people will like judge as you say as well yeah. uh, so uh yes and it, it, they will always find something so like um yeah if not the looks then something else then maybe you know assume that you are from a rich family or i don't know what uh -huh. like there is so many things they can kind of try to wrap around to to yeah yeah i mean it can happen everything yeah I think for for young women, uh, it's such a common, I don't know, comment on them that they yeah. probably can thank everything, their success, uh, to how they look. Mm -hmm. And it really annoys me. First of all, it annoys me. But at the same time, what also annoys me is how often I see musicians over-sexualizing music and they they play well, you know, they play, it's it's all right, it's good. It's entertaining, it sounds great, but then you see, well, you know what I mean, you see this, these um, uh, front camera recordings and then putting the guitar under their boobs and mm -hmm. stuff like that, uh, catching the best angle and, <laughs> and the most annoying is when they don't actually need it, they don't need that for their success, it's just a shortcut, they're taking a shortcut, but when you look pretty for one of your videos, and you and they put you into the same basket that annoys me that's mm. hurtful because i'm not in the same basket i'm not recording over top um cleavage videos and it's hurtful you know i take it personally mm -hmm. yeah well uh, it's like it's not okay for 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 like people to assume things and also like I mean they will do it unfortunately yeah it's just the way it is but um, it's like everybody has their own style and uh, also like if if somebody wants to dress like that they are like most likely dressing like that in, in for other occasions as well like they are just kind of having that lifestyle or, or living mm -hmm. in, a, in a hot country then where, where you have <laughs> probably, you have yeah, really probably short, that's <laughs> short clothes well, who knows yeah so it's like probably it's, they, they have it's that their, yeah it's their uh it's their right i think like so uh -huh. i don't think it's it's something so it doesn't annoy you mm -hmm. it, it uh, no no doesn't. no no personally it annoys me because <laughs> it feels like um it's a shortcut yeah also like it's attracting the different Different audience. Yes, yes, as well, as well. So it's their their audience, yeah. So it's like they're choosing to have this focus, yeah. So they like they can. They, yes, they there's a huge difference uh, between in in the quality of audience, so the uh -huh. quality of the people you reach. Uh, okay, but how how do you, so you are um, genuinely a feminine person, and 
if I look at your content, you have these flowers and <laughs> the nice dress and the, you know shiny curly hair, <laughs> and it's all all really really nice. Mm. And uh, I was thinking, I was almost sure that you were getting this kind of uh, me stuff too. Probably from time to time, I really don't pay attention to. Don't that. pay attention. To no, no, because it's like that's a secret. That, that's a secret, yeah. Okay, well, I see. <laughs> well, it's um, I know who I am. I uh -huh. know what my worth is. I know how hard I work, what I do, and and what is the effort I put in everything. And then for somebody to just like attack my looks, it's really superficial, I think, uh -huh. and it's really unnecessary to pay attention to. I think generally you should have like you should like listen to people that are close. To you like you should like value what they think um, but like when somebody doesn't know you that, that well like you should not be affected by opinion of them uh -huh. because they're just seeing the, the, the surface they're just seeing what they want to see as well many many times this is that that's the case as well or projecting some of course some bad things from them to you which is even worse so like uh, it's just like being aware of that will save you m much much trouble and time and everything so yeah yeah and at the same time i know that um if you are a good musician or good at something that doesn't mean that you can't look good look well or you know just, be yourself also yeah it's you know, like look look the way you want to look exactly yeah, that's exactly. what i meant i don't know i, I guess i just get Offended easily. Uh, <laughs> I, no. I, I like I like to have my little rant. <laughs> Don't worry. No, no, it's it, like I'm telling you, like uh, it's just you're exposing yourself. It will always be something, yeah. So if not looks, then then they're gonna find something else, yeah. So like um, it's good that you're so chill about it. I am really chill. Yes, <laughs> I am. It's like also. Um, like I don't know. For me, the main thing is to be to be true, your true self. So, okay. like the it's not like I'm a creating now a certain character or like a, something that I'm not just for social media. And then at home, I'm like a different person. Never, I don't know. You're never, wearing hoodies. Never having the shiny hair <laughs> or whatever. You know, like I yeah, a hoodie or something. Like having a different style of dressing or something like that. Baggy clothes. Baggy clothes. Yeah, like whatever. Whatever. That's so you. Oh, yeah, that's that. That's the thing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me and um, and why would I then try to hide who I am you know so it's like okay yeah it's just the, it, and I'm like I'm the same <laughs> everywhere so it's uh, it's always been like that I was always interested in fashion also mm -hmm. in beauty in uh, modeling when I was a kid like I loved oh. Victoria's Secret a lot yes I was oh. also a model when I was a little but uh, you know like these things are, are really like you can see it as a um, just you know style just in general mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah it's something that um, it's the same like whatever like, I'm doing like just going to the uh, concert meeting with friends or recording a reel I, this is how I am yeah uh -huh. so it's um, and, or that's my style or whatever so it's it's not like um, it's not being dishonest I think that's more important than, than anything else yeah. you're probably right you know you're probably right and I just get annoyed easily. <laughs> yeah. No, like I we guess. should not like yeah, we should not like have any pressure like to be somebody that we are not. Like if you are liking more some other style, then it's 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 your style, it's your it's your personality, it's it's something you have right to express. I uh -huh. think you do. Yeah, so for so. me I have this uh, very fun thing that I, if I wake up in the morning and I just want to show up on stream in pajamas I mean, I wear, you know, some okay. to wear something <laughs> random, and I don't want to make my face and my hair and everything. I sit down in sweatpants and I don't know, and whatever yeah. I have. Yeah. And the next day I can dress up. I don't know. I can try and dress uh -huh. up like a princess, mm -hmm. and I feel <laughs> just as good about myself. Yeah, also <laughs> that. Also that. Also like how you feel as well. Yeah. Yeah. That that's the thing. Like um, also for the stream as well. Like I'm in sweatpants many times. <laughs> <laughs> like um, it's really so comfortable, comf yeah. I yeah. love sweatpants. And, I mean, I am practicing. I'm not gonna practice in my jeans. <laughs> yes. I don't do that, so it's the same there. Yeah. Sweatpants is like I don't know, a warm hug from someone you love. Yes. I yeah. love sweatpants. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's sweatpants season again. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. Sweatpants season is the best. <laughs> All right, Iwa. Um, what are your big plans for next year? Is there anything we can expect from you? 
Uh, yes, well, next year, uh, the first thing coming up is my final exam. I'm finishing okay. my master's studies. Good luck. So thank you. And so that's the, the first thing coming up. After that, I'm having a bit um, better, like, no, not a bit better. Um, I'm having um, a big uh, plan for YouTube uh, from next year. Mm. Mm, yes. And um, like a Can lot of ideas. Can more of that? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's on my Patreon. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> it's good. Go and go to your Patreon, guys. Go and check and out. It's it's on my Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> but it's um yeah I I share with them the idea I have, but uh, it's a little overwhelming. I don't want to share publicly because it's a big pressure. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm wanting like um to focus uh from next year more on YouTube and to uh, finally start making like more. Uh, long-term content um, the full length of pieces uh, that's mm -hmm. something that I get a lot of time like oh where can we hear the full version and unfortunately I still didn't have time to record it or okay. prepare it so it's uh, from all the studying and everything happening and uh, I think like I own this to people so yeah from next year okay. the things are gonna be like that uh, there is also three music videos coming up uh, that I recorded this summer so uh, yes okay. yes like a uh, first three professional music videos I, I did and um, yes also content and um, as well uh, as performance yeah I would like to oh, wow. to start giving concerts from next year like oh, damn. finally okay it's a lot <laughs> studies feels... studies performing um, <laughs> content yes it's a, lot. a lot of things but yeah okay I can't wait uh, yeah I'm excited sounds very good where can Thanks. people connect with you uh, well yes mostly um, Instagram um, Twitch as well they can join my live session and, and um, like meet me they can chat with me as well there sweet yes um, YouTube as well um, as I said I'm gonna start being active there more and TikTok as well so yeah mm -hmm. all of these platforms <laughs> sounds great yes. can't wait to see your next year's success <laughs> thank you and thank you so 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 much for joining me today thank you for the invite <laughs>